What's good? What's good, everyone? Welcome back to the show, man. Recap with Mo. Well, we're getting ready to get down into another... <sighs> Shit, I don't even know what we're getting ready to get into. I'm going to be honest with you all. Um, but before we get into it, make sure to like and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss shit and if this going down. All right. Now, with that being said, let's go ahead and talk about um, season six, episode number eight, uneven playing field. That's what we're going to talk about very quickly. Now, this would not be a full trailer recap, but I'm just telling you, I'm going to go ahead and deal with some of these things here and I'm going to deal with some of those things later on. All right. So the synopsis for this episode states that as hate and Tamara's relationship grows stronger, Gary still isn't sure about her true intentions. Maurice continues his pursuit to get Q to confess the truth. Now let's go ahead and deal with the top part of this. I'm bothered by this because as I stated in my previous recap, why in the hell are two men, one specifically, concerned about another man's situation? Like, are you guys a couple? Like, what's going on here? Because Gary is a little too involved with what the hell is going on with Hayden. Now, y'all y'all can be cool, but this right here is alarming to me. Definitely alarming to me because he is investing in somebody else's relationship and somebody else's shit that does not involve him. So why are you overly concerned about what her true intentions are? Like, Whatever it is, it doesn't pertain to you, Gary. So if you were so if you were more concerned about your situation, maybe you can work that shit out. But obviously you feel some type of way about Andy right now. You feel like your shit ain't together. So now you want to go over here and look at Hayden's situation since he's getting a little bit of fellatio up under the desk and all of this stuff and he's feeling good about himself. You're throwing question marks into his marriage. You do realize that he's married now, Gary. It is what it is. And I keep saying that it is what it damn is. And you can't sit up here and say, did you better? But give me a social. Give me this. Give me that. It's over. He's already married her. True enough, he got the papers. He can annul, you know, this whole situation. But at the same time, he's unclear if he wants to stay with her or not. So allow this grown ass man to make the decision for himself. All right. With that being said, let's move on. It says that Maurice continues his pursuit to get Q to confess the truth. Now, I'm not sure exactly what that entails, because what we've heard from Maurice thus far is bullshit. I'm just telling you, he's going to end the hell back up into jail behind bars. And it is what it is. <laughs> This should be the is what it is episode, because at the end of the day, Maurice is going to have to learn that you cannot sit up here and play these childish games and think nothing is going to happen to your grown ass. I mean, if you go out here, Maurice, and you decide to have this man unalived, then all of that shit is going to come back on you because, number one, you said you're only paying the people six grand. So... The person that, that you're hiring to do this job for six grand ain't going to be the top of the line person. And I think you said my cousin. So that's definitely not the way to go, Maurice. Come on, bro. Think logically, as I stated before. But it is what it is. Listen, I just don't get it. I personally just don't get it. As I stated before, I just wish that we had one person, just one down person in this show that really had it all together, that could help and assist these other people whose asses are all across the board. You have Hayden and Tamara, their relationship is growing stronger, meaning that they got something going on, even though it's fake. It's fluff. It is what it is. She's a gold digger. She, it, it, I mean, Hayden's been... It, He's been deserving of this situation. Like, I'm not even mad about this shit. I mean, this man has gone over and beyond to make Fatima's life a living hell. So I'm not even concerned about what happens to Hayden. But for Gary, this hater, this hater shit that he got going on right now, this hater ship that he got going on with Hayden right now, because he's hating on his marriage and his relationship because he ain't getting nothing at home. It is what it is, bro. Let it go. And then Maurice, uh, he's a lost cause for me. 
because as I told you, probably the last two seasons, I've pretty much been done with Maurice, with all the shenanigans that he's been, I mean, it's it's been OV for Maurice for a very long time for me. So with that being said, man, those are my thoughts about this synopsis. And of course, tomorrow I'm going to drop another video well, I'm going to break down each individual part of the trailer for episode number eight. So that will be multiple videos as well. With that being said, man, I'm getting ready to get up out of here. I told you guys I was not going to keep you too long. But this shit right here has to stop. <laughs> it has to stop. It has to get better from here. Last week was a pretty decent episode. This week, I don't know. I really don't know. But uh, anyhow, man, leave a comment down below. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Peace.